Hey guys, Pete here. Today I'm going to talk about my new obsession, HBO's new series based on Watchmen. This will be a short video where I tell you why I think you should read the original work first because I'm excited about the series. I plan on making a lot of videos about it and I believe you'll be better served if you read the original story yourself rather than having me spoil it for you. Just so you know, I'm not a comic book guy. In fact, I can't tell you a comic series I've read before Watchmen, which I didn't read until I heard that HBO is creating a series about it. I don't say this to sound cool, I just never got into them. I lived in books when I was a kid. Reading was literally my favorite pastime, but I guess no one ever turned me on to comics or else I probably would have read those too. That said, I'm not a big fan of all the new blockbuster comic-based movies that seem to come out every week weekend at this point. They make for good eye candy and a predictable payoff from the ones I've seen, but I haven't gotten sucked into the world of comics that they're based on. Again, not trying to sound cool here, obviously these franchises provide a lot of entertainment to a lot of people, they're just not my cup of tea. Why Watchmen then? Well, my reasoning for reading it was simple. I have a YouTube channel and was looking for content to cover. HBO series are generally a cut above most other networks, and I really enjoyed The Leftovers, which was the last project Watchmen showrunner Damon Lindelof worked on for the network. Because I was never into comics, I had zero expectations going in, and I think that played a big part in me getting hooked on the series. That, and of course, the fact that it's a good story. Which is why I'm making a video telling you that I think you should read it, rather than just making a trailer breakdown about what's out about the show first. In order to explain the trailer and what the series might be about, you have to spoil the original story. Also, before I tell you why I think it's good, I have to implore you not to watch the movie version first. I watched the movie after I read the book, which is fine, but even though it's a pretty close adaptation, my opinion is this is not the way you want to experience the Watchmen universe for the first time. So what is Watchmen and why do I think you should read it before the HBO series comes out? Watchmen was a limited comic series written by Alan Moore and David Gibbons for DC Comics. It was written as a story that had brand new characters, and it has a beginning, a middle, and an end, as it was designed as a 12-issue series and later made into what we call now a graphic novel. It was first published in 1986 through 1987, and the first collected volume of it was also in 1987. It's essentially an alternate history where superheroes exist. They came around in the 1940s, and their presence has an effect on the history that we know. In other words, it's in the United States. There's several things pulled from regular history, but the existence of the masked adventurers or superheroes has changed some things as well. It was a popular comic when it came out. It got good reviews from comic fans and from the press at large outside of the world of comic books. It was listed in Time Magazine's list of the 100 best novels as one of the best English language novels published since 1923. And you often hear people say things like, it's when comic books came of age or when they grew up, you know, like this idea that it was influential in changing the landscape of comic books and what became graphic novels because it was different than what people were used to. It's basically not what you would expect from a comic book series, and the characters are more interesting than I would have guessed. It's deep, but not necessarily complicated. I definitely got pulled in and found myself reading academic papers on the philosophy and everything else, but even at face value, I think if you like my channel and the things I cover normally, you'll probably like this too. If you're already a fan, that's great, and hopefully you'll see the potential for a great TV series like I do. The best non-spoilery take on the end is that it makes you think. It's a very layered story. The layering of the story and the way it's presented sucks you in. The artwork, the repeated symbolism, the non-linear parts of the narrative. There are a lot of things going on in this that I wouldn't have expected from a comic book when I first picked it up. Because of that, the first thing you realize at the end is that you're going to have to read this book again. And what's nice is that it's actually self-contained. You meet the characters, you figure out who they are, what drives them, you get their origin stories which are all neatly included within the book itself, and then at the end, that's it. 
it. You know everything there is to know about this universe. The first time I read it, I read it in two sittings. I read it in two afternoons. It's not a quick read necessarily, but it isn't this giant tome that you have to read multiple volumes or anything else. There are some other stories related to it that came after the fact, but I haven't read anything to make that seem like they would be canon related to the TV show. So the only thing I'm actually promoting here and talking about here are the original 12 issues that are collected in in one trade paperback. So why do I think the show based on this comic is going to be good? Again, this is kind of hard to do without spoiling things, but I think a lot of the themes that the comic brings out will be easy to transfer to today's world. Now, I won't totally go into it here because this would be another video altogether, but essentially what's going on here is Damon Lindelof is making a series that takes place 30 or 35 years after the events of what happened in the comic. So it's an alternate history based off an alternate history. The characters existed, they did what they did inside the book, and that has an effect on the world that is depicted in the TV show. Some of those characters will still be alive and cross over, some probably won't, but I think it's very safe to say that the series will be in the same spirit as the comic, and that's why you need to read the comic first. Some of the other reasons I think it will be good are based on, like I said, I was a huge fan of The Leftovers. That's a situation where they adapted a book for the first season, more or less, and then branched off into something else based on it being in the same universe. Very similar to what we have here, although there's one big difference. The author of the book was involved with the series, and the author of Watchmen is famous for not wanting anybody to adapt any of his work into any other medium. So it's safe to say that he will not be involved in the TV show or the crafting of the world that exists in his universe that he created nearly 35 years ago. I personally don't think this is the problem that a lot of die hard comic book fans would think it is. For me, I think it can be done tastefully. I think that it can be pulled off. But because this is such a popular comic, it's hallowed ground, and there's going to be a big group of people who just don't like it for that reason. But we'll see what happens. We don't really know until we know, and I think that all the promotional material so far is pretty good as far as not being something that would take away from the world that already exists. Now, as far as reading it, you can get it online. Obviously, you can buy it. I'll put some links below in the comments. I read the original series just as it is. They have some other editions now that are annotated and include extra information. There is also a animated motion comic, which is something that I didn't know existed. They take the original artwork and they put music to it and have a narrator, so it's read to you. I did watch the Watchmen motion comic and it's pretty good, but I don't think you should start there because it actually leaves out a lot of the supplementary stuff that's in the original book. There are parts at the end of each issue that explain some of the background of different characters and things like that. They're not drawn in a comic. They're more like you just read them. So those aren't included in the motion comic. So my plan from here is to break down the trailer. It's not new anymore, but a lot of the stuff I saw about it was initial reactions and there's more information available now. So just because I like doing that anyways, I'm going to do a very thorough breakdown of the trailer, look at what this series might actually be about based on what we know from the original story, possibly look at the characters and what their influences might be going forward in this new world. We see that there are some images that include some of these characters and then some characters that are influenced by those original characters. So it'll be good to just go through that. Plus maybe a lot of people, this is obviously a popular book and millions of people have read it already. Perhaps maybe they'll want to refresh their memory on the book that they read 20 years ago or whatever. 
But yes, I am most excited about this right now. Of course, I have other plans for the channel as well. I'm going to be doing Mr. Robot Season 4 when that goes out. I've been covering that for a long time, and I'm really excited about its final season. I will pick up with Westworld again next year. Of course, I'll also do the Game of Thrones prequel series, but that's still a long way off at this point. As far as the main series, it occurs to me that most people don't like the ending that George R. R. Martin has in mind. Perhaps that's because they were hoping for a more traditional fantasy story ending. So either way, I'm not going to be covering that for the time being. I will definitely read the remaining books and I'm actually looking very forward to that as soon as they come out. And I'll think about coverage related to those at that time. I'm thinking about doing The Expanse. I've been reading those books over the last few weeks, and I'm definitely interested in that series, which should be coming out in the next few months on Amazon. So I have a lot of stuff planned, but I'll tell you, you know, Watchmen really sucked me in. So I wanted to give you guys a chance to have the same experience I had. Read it, absorb it think about it and then pick up with speculating on what the new series is going to be about and that's what we'll do so let me know what you think were you a fan of watchmen before have you never heard of it are you excited about reading it for the first time since you found out that hbo is doing a series on it please like the video if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and want to follow along with watchmen or any of the other tv shows i do thanks for watching guys i will talk to you soon